This is, I, so I've been thinking about this question since you asked me to be on the podcast. Because the honest answer is, I don't know that yet. Mm-hmm. Reality is there are hundreds of paths and approaches to publishing. One does it a little bit differently. Lots of people will tell you that there there's one particular way that works better than others. And reality is there is so much um, luck and timing and outside influence that it's very difficult. It's difficult to um, to necessarily pinpoint what normal is. Mm-hmm. For example, when I first started writing Spark and Tether, I had no intent of publishing at all. It was just um, it was a side project, sort of during a very tumultuous time my life, it was just a little space in my head of a story that was just for me. Mm. And I I had friends who were publishing um, stories on web serial apps, and I'd started reading a lot of web comics again, and I was really intrigued by that whole setup and that system, so I started by publishing my first draft as I wrote it on a web serial app. And I learned very quickly that I actually really loved having readers involved and engaged in the story early in the process, which was not something I had ever done before. I um, Previously, I would hold work very close and not share until I was very confident that it was done and ready to go out in the world. So releasing something in a very raw form um, was a huge step outside of my comfort zone. And I realized near the end of that process that I was actually committed to this book and this story and turning it into um, (laughs) a real novel, Mm -hmm. so to speak, which is where a lot of the real work started. That's not a particularly unusual path. Lots of people have done it. 